It's been just over a month since future former Prime Minister Tony Abbott made this declaration, which he seemingly forgot to make when he came into office. And good government starts today. And I think we can all agree, it's definitely been a government. But all that's old news, by which I mean just a few days old. That being said, at least there's a strong alternative. Look at how Bill Shorten's handled his attempts to reform the Labor Party. Shorten's key ALP reform, dead in the water. Dead in the water, of course, used to be Labor's asylum seeker policy. And as for the Coalition's asylum seeker policy, Abbott understands what's on the mind of every compassionate Australian. I really think Australians are sick of being lectured to by the United Nations. Yes, it's our number one concern. Abbott knows exactly who the UN should be lecturing about human rights abuses. And the Human Rights Commission ought to be ashamed of itself. Tell me about it. This damning report should have come out years ago when he didn't have to deal with it. As for the government's plans to store your metadata, presumably so it might dissuade other metadata from seeking refuge in this country, Abbott set the record straight. In the days when I was a journalist, uh, uh, there were no metadata protections for journalists. And let's not forget that when Tony was a journalist in the 1980s, there was a lot more metadata out there. Hmm, what's that? There's a lot less? Well, gee whiz, that's the first time I've seen Abbott get something wrong about the internet. We have a strong and credible broadband policy. No, I'm sorry, there's more? Because the man who's devised it virtually invented the internet in this country. Thank you so much, Malcolm Turnbull. And then there's Christopher Pine helping out wherever he can with higher education reform. You, you made it very clear yesterday. And I've dealt with it. That you had to get the reform bill through, otherwise the 1,700 positions would go. I'm a fixer. How did you fix it? I fixed it by funding it in another way, which you'll find out in the budget. Why can't you tell us? I want it to be a surprise for you. Clarice. And if I know anything about people who are potentially facing unemployment, it's that they love surprises. After all, it's what this government is all about. There will be no surprises and no excuses from a coalition government, Barry. Hannibal, do you care to respond? I want it to be a surprise for you. All right. Another broken election promise. But Mr Pine smoothed everything out with some aphorisms. Bismarck had said that, um, uh, uh, that... Yeah, it's not Bismarck's best quote. Creating laws. Uh, it was like making sausages and it's best if the public doesn't see them. I think I speak for everyone when I say I don't want to see Christopher Pine's sausage. But polls have shown that good government is paying off for Abbott. PM Abbott's positive poll. No. Shows he's a dead man walking. No. So the first month of good government hasn't been crash hot. But at least the future's looking bright. Look what the government's got planned for this year's budget. Tony Abbott promises dull May budget. Fasten your seatbelts. Good government's going to be one dull ride. Except for this bit. I want it to be a surprise for you. All right. For the roasts and Guardian Australia, I'm Mark Humphreys. <laughs> <laughs>